welcome back to One Crafty Ginger. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance finds, the store flips, and some rescue dogs, then you're in the right place. So today I have for you what I'm affectionately calling Thrifted Thursday, where I share all of my thrift store finds from the last month or so with you guys. And this wonderful catchy phrase comes to you from none other than Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs. I will link her channel in the description box below. Every Thursday she does Thrifted Thursday where she shares her thrift store finds, which are amazing. So you definitely want to go check her out. And she's also a crafty girl too. So if you're already following Sammy and you like crafting, you definitely want to go check her out. If you do, tell her that I sent you. So let's go ahead and get started with my favorite find or finds from my recent thrift store uh, trips. And they are these giant corbels. They were only $3.00. And if you don't know what a corbel is, so a corbel essentially like in like a door frame of a house or in a door frame, you would put these up like so to like frame out and decorate like your door frame. So it would be super pretty and cool. And these are huge. I mean, look, it's bigger than my head, y'all. And look at how cool and like chippy and white these are. Like... They're so cool. And uh, these sell for a lot of money. If you like look up salvage pieces and vintage stuff, corbels and salvage pieces go for a lot. Now, I think these are reproduction. I'm not sure if they are real or not, but I'm not sure. But looking at it, it could they could be reproduction. They could be actually authentic salvage. But either way, $3 for one and then $6 for two is a steal of a deal. So I was so excited to find those. And I found those because I go through my thrift store several times. Each time I go, I walk around, I walk around, I walk around. And I look high, I look low. And I saw something white in the bottom corner of a shelf behind a wooden shelf, a wooden bookshelf, like a little mini hanging shelf. And so I squatted down and I moved the shelf. And then they were there in the corner. If you weren't like browsing through stuff, you would never find it. So I was super excited to find those. And then my other favorite piece, and you guys, you're going to laugh at me, um, is this. I'll give you a second to see if you know what this is. Do, 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 do. You guys, this is a chamber pot. You heard me right, a chamber pot. As in, like, people would go to the bathroom in this pot. I'm pretty sure this is a reproduction piece. It says Maddox of California, USA 1228. I looked it up like Google Lens and I looked it up on Google and I could not find it other than Maddox is a, was a California potterer um, back in like the early 50s and he did like he did something called television lamps. I'm not sure. So even if it is a reproduction, this was only $1.50, you guys. And I watch vintage resellers on Instagram because I love to watch them. I love to learn things. And the least expensive that I've seen a chamber pot go for was $24. Yep, $24 for a potty pot. So to find one for $1.50, I was super excited because I've been wanting one. So, like, you could put flowers in here. You can, like, I'm going to put pumpkins in here because it's fall, y'all. So there'll probably be some pumpkins sticking out of it. So it's super cool. And you can see how big it is. So I know, laugh, I'm sure you guys are like, she's crazy, but look it up online, you guys. Go to Etsy and look up chamber pots. You will not believe it. Like, it's, it is crazy. So that, I had a lot, I have a lot of awesome finds, you guys. Like, I had a really good, like, month and a half. Because I'm going to try to do this once a month to show you everything from the last month. And I've had a pretty good score. So another favorite piece is this pewter pitcher. Which I'm going to put faux flowers out of. This, I believe, is only like two bucks. But if you were to look at pewter pitchers, the same thing. They go for like way more than two dollars. So to find one for two dollars, like it's so pretty and it's shiny. So I love that. Like I said, I, I got some pretty awesome pieces, you guys. So with those, those, what else are some of my awesome... Oh, here, this is super cute. I love Crocs. As you guys know, I love Crocs. This one was $2, and it has, like, the little handle. Now, this one is newer. It says 19, 
99 Marshall Pottery, Marshall, Texas. Um, I think it's 1999. So it is fairly new. But for $2, you guys, it's so cute. I just, I love it. I love little Crocs. And then, you guys, I hit the mother load of copper. I love copper. Copper, copper, copper. It's also the color of my hair. But I love to decorate in my kitchen with copper. And I found on two different occasions, or two or three different occasions, I found a lot of copper pieces. And I was so excited. So I found this mold. This is like the rose gold copper. Look at how pretty that is. Two bucks. Two dollars. Like, look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. And then I found this mold for $2. This one is more of like the copper color, not the rose gold. And I got this one as a copper piece. This one was only a dollar. You guys, a dollar. How cool is that? And then I got these for 75 cents each. These little copper pots. Look. The little handles so I can hang them up. Aren't they cute? 75 cents. And then I also found these were a dollar. These little itty bitty copper molds. Look at how cute they are. So we have like the little jello mold and a heart. And then like this football kind of shape. And then I found two of these little. I think they're supposed to be pineapples. I'm not sure. For a dollar each. I also found this super cute copper colander. And it was a dollar, you guys. How pretty is that? I love it. It's so pretty. And then one of my favorite copper finds, or my favorite copper find, was this teapot. It was $2. It is fairly new because the handle is plastic. It's not wood. So it is a newer piece and it is that rose, rose gold copper, but I just thought that would be so cute. Just like kind of sitting, like just sitting on my stove out in my kitchen. I thought it was pretty. And for $2, as my dad says, you can't beat that with the stick. So that is my copper finds. I love copper. Let me know, comment down below. What do you guys, do you guys go thrifting? Do you go yard sailing? Do you go to estate sales? What is something that you love to collect? What is something you're always looking for to add to your home? Or even if you don't, like what do you use in your home? What is something that you have a collection of that you just love? Is it, you know, copper, books, um, uh, coffee mugs, you know, I'd love to know. Comment down below and let me know what, what you collect for your home and what you display. I think that would be really interesting. And so continuing on with like the kitchenware, um, my friend spotted this for me. It's a Homer Laughlin and I can't quite, it says the, the An Angelus. It's a really pretty like stained and a little bit crazed platter piece that I thought was really pretty and it was a dollar like Vintage China for a dollar. Like, how cool is that? So I think I'm going to put it here in this room. This is like um, a guest room that has my daughter's old bed from when she was a little girl. It's a wrought iron twin bed that my parents gave her. Um, it is an antique. It has moved around with us all over. So we have the twin bed, and then I have her little, she's got this cute little, um, like desk that my parents got her to with a little chair that I put like little sparkly knobs on and it has a mirror so it's like a vanity so this is like my little like dressing room slash guest room slash filming room because it also has the best lighting so I think that piece will go in here because it's like pinks and grays and romance and just I just think that would be super pretty and you guys I have a thing for rolling pins so this was I think they charged me two dollars but look, it was made out of all one piece. Like, look at that, carved. Hand carved out of all one solid piece of wood. And I put these in, if you guys have seen my Vintage Market Day haul from the last Vintage Market Days, I got a really cool three gallon crock that I put my rolling pins in. And then this one was like $1.50. You guys, look at how pretty that is with the red handles. 
So vintage rolling pins, look those up too, you guys. This would be like $14 if you were to buy it online or from an antique store. And I got it for $1.50. Like, definitely check out thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, estate sales. Like, I know, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm frugal. Is that the nice way of saying cheap? I don't like to spend a lot of money. And I will wait and look and look. And I go to my thrift store about twice a week. And I figure, you know what, if I, I, I'm sure I will find whatever I'm looking for for a way less price than if I were to buy it online. So I was pretty stoked. So let's see, those were kitchen pieces. What else do I got? Oh, I got this cute little, it was a dollar. I love milk glass. That's another thing that I collect. Just this little milk glass dish. I thought that was super cute. I found this, it was $2. It was, it's just a wooden tray that I thought was cool. You could put stuff in, you could put soaps in it. At Christmas time, you could put like little bottle brush trees and, or little candles. Just, it's super cool. I thought, you know, you could decorate it. And for $2, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Let's see, let's see. Oh, my friend spotted, I love blue and white. This gorgeous tray for $1.50. It is metal. Look at how pretty that is. So it would also be really pretty like up against the wall with stuff displayed in front of it. So that was really cool. Let's see, let's see. I think that's, oh, so this also I thought was cool. So I've decided if I think something looks cool, I'm gonna put it on my cart and then I'm gonna Google Lens it and look it up. And I saw this wooden piece. It folds out like this. And it's hand carved. Like, look at the carving on there, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? So from what I can tell online, this is a Bible slash cookbook slash it even listed on some places, um, the Quran um, book holder. So you would place your book in here and you can open it up and then that way you can sit it down and you can read through it and flip through it um, on the stand. So this piece was, I think it was only $2. I took the tag off to wipe it down because it was kind of dusty. But it's super cool. And then these sell, I looked up online, for like $24 to $38 on Etsy. I mean, look at the carving, you guys. Just how gorgeous is that? So it was super cool. So I picked it up. I thought that was gorgeous. And some more wood. Um, I found this cute little, and this is definitely newer because it has like the, the hardware on it, but it's like a little mini salvage piece. It's a dollar. So I'm going to actually rough it up some. I'm going to take like a sanding block from the Dollar Tree and kind of sand up the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to rough it up and put it on one of my shelves with some of my vintage pieces. Just as like a little something to add some texture, add a little depth to my decor and more wood i found this cute little tr little stool look at it you guys isn't that just adorable it's a little stool and you guys will not guess it was 75 cents 75 cents for this cute little wooden stool that i could like you can use it as a riser you could put stuff on it um, you could, like, if you have a cute little teddy bear or a favorite doll, like, they can sit on it. There's so many ways that you can use, like, cute little stools like this. And for 75 cents, I was like, why not? Just take it home with me. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I also found, I forgot to put this in the kitchen stuff, this really cool, like, pewter scoop. It was a dollar. And I just thought that would look super cute, like sticking out of a crock or something. I just thought that was cool. And then my last couple things are Halloween and they are so, so cool. So I got this cool Ray Dunn pumpkin spice, or it's not Halloween, it's fall, mug. It's a metal like to go coffee mug and it has like the stopper and it still has like the tag on the bottom, you guys. It was $1.50. $1.50 for this super cute Ray Dunn pumpkin spice cup. Do you guys drink pumpkin spice? Are you pumpkin spice fans? I'll be honest, I tried it. 
not sure what the hoopla was about. I didn't think it tasted anything sort of special. You like pumpkin spice? Good for you. I just love pumpkin. I mean, I love pumpkins in general, but I just thought it was cute because, you know, I can have hot cocoa in here. Nobody knows that it's not pumpkin spice. And then my last items for this Thrifted Thursday haul, my friend found for me, because there's a couple of friends that I go thrifting with, and she grabbed these for me. These cute little, little jack-o'-lantern mugs. Look at how tiny they are. 50 cents, you guys. 50 cents for these cute little, little I'm trying to like get the glare out. So you can see his little face. Look, guys, isn't it cute? Little mugs. So, like, for like, if I do a hot cocoa bar, I can have cute little pumpkin mugs. And I don't mind that he's kind of chippy and that some of the paint's coming off. I think it's cool. It's vintage, y'all. So, that's it from my Thrifted Thursday. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite item that I found from my local thrift store. And also, like I said, what, are, what kind of things do you collect? What collections do you like to share and have in your home? I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's completely free. It helps me out, and I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. Join my YouTube family. We have a lot of fun here, and we have a great time. And thank you again for spending some time with me. And until next time, goodbye.